welcome to a vlog another one i know i was told to make more vlogs i'm making more vlogs now where are we off to we're going to hermes no it's hermes eh. uh, no it's hermes listen i'm not going to take english lessons from the french what do you mean what think about it we're in england they right. used english language h-e-r-m-e-s Hermes. No, it's Hermes. It's a French brand, so you if say they, it by the name of the brand. If they want it to be her Hermes, they should have spelled it E-R-M-E-S. No, because it's French. With the English language. No, it's a French word. Let's agree to disagree on this one. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to uh, Hermes <laughs> cocktail evening. Where are we going to eat dinner? No, I want I want Hakkasan, but he's like, no, we're not going to Hakkasan. I'm thinking McDonald's. And get a wrap of the day. I will try to film as much as I can, if I feel like I can. I don't want to be rude, and I don't want to get my phone out and, oh, you, you know, film this and film that. I'm going to an Hermes event with a 45 pound clutch. But you know how I feel about clutches and things like that. I'm never going to spend ridiculous amounts on them because I just don't go to fancy things often enough in my life. I wish I did. Because I'd love a reason to dress up like this every time. I just realized, what if I'm overdressed? <laughs> Here's me the whole dress. <laughs> I hope I'm not overdressed. But if you think of it, that we come as one, right? If you are overdressed, I'm certainly underdressed. So we kind of balance out. Yeah, I guess so. What shoes are you wearing? Tom's. Oh, yeah, you're definitely underdressed. Oh, well. Drive past and let's see who's there. Park here. Uh, yes, I can. Yeah, you, you can. We've just arrived. This is the outfit. This is the outfit. I'm gonna fall. My lovely clutch, my Zara dress, and my Hermes shoes. I'm overdressed. I'm overdressed. I'm overdressed. I don't want to go. Can I go home now? Okay, so this was a preview to the Autumn Winter Collection 2024, and I loved it so, so much. This jacket just gave me life. It was so beautiful. I just didn't want to look price tag because it would hurt my soul. And I know it's going to be ridiculously expensive and I won't be able to afford it. But it was such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful jacket. We had a laptop bag over here, which I liked as well. I thought Krish instantly. The hack cargo. Oh my gosh, you guys give me it now. <laughs> And then with the shirts, as you guys can see, the collar was a high collar as opposed to your normal traditional collars, which I found to be quite cool. So you can change it up. You had your puffers. This pea coat was beautiful. And the reason why I found it so beautiful and I liked it was because of the padded quilting. So it made it really, really warm. It also looked very smart. We had this I want to say men's Kelly because I have no idea what the name actually was. We then move on to the little mini fashion show as i like to call it <laughs> um and this was really really a really cool experience because we spoke about the clothing in depth this gilet i loved another piece i was just obsessed with here's the jacket in action guys look at it it's beautiful please can i have it honestly there were so many pieces that I really, really liked from the men's autumn winter collection. And they were easily wearable as a woman myself. You know, this jumper, 100% cashmere. It had detailing of flowers on it. And yeah, I just, I loved this autumn winter men's season collection. I thought there was some really, really beautiful pieces. Home now. And I am so tired. <laughs> Look at that, avocado. So I had to spend most of the evening with my phone or glass here so that like, <laughs> You couldn't see this huge avocado stay in there. And we're gonna get ready and go to bed. It was a really, really, really good evening. Really, really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do my nighttime routine with you. What I do to my face, even though it's like two o'clock in the morning. First of all, I start off by getting that mascara off my eyes. I don't pull my eyelashes out, guys. I feel like whenever I do this, it just makes sure that the makeup is completely off around my eyes. And then what I like to use to get my makeup off is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is a really big tub. It has no scent and it just gets my makeup off. I take a whole chunk like that and then off she goes. I have a stash of these cloths. So the fashion show was fashion show okay it wasn't a fashion show relax tiara you're not excited the fashion show it was like a mini fashion show it was really really 
nice to experience something like that because obviously I've never experienced anything like that. Sometimes I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't have any right to be here, you know? I'm sure I'm probably like the brokest person here. It was like a little presentation. We had the models coming in and they had some amazing pieces. The Gile, oh my gosh, to die for. The minute I saw the model with the Gile walk in, I was like, so now I take the Aveeno Calm and Restore, and this is a very, very, very gentle, nourishing oat cleanser. I always double cleanse because I like to make sure my face doesn't have any residue left. But this is very, very gentle. I couldn't use this just to fully take off the makeup. Now bear in mind, this is a men's collection. So this is the autumn winter collection. But there were so many pieces. I was just like, I could wear that. I like that. I love this. Oh my gosh, the Gile in particular, top, 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 loved it. It was absolutely stunning. And when you get a closer look at these pieces, you can really see the craftsmanship, the quality behind the pieces. It's no longer just a Gile, do you know what I mean? You get a closer look at it, the leather panels, it's just, it's stunning. And then the second piece, which I really, really liked, was the shearling coat. And that again had a mixture of leather and shearling and it just looked stunning with the big like button claw buttons um that was absolutely gorgeous i loved it love love loved it each piece is made by one person so that same person for the jacket that took three days and the same artisan will make that jacket it doesn't get passed around he knows what's going in he knows what materials are being used the process, everything is by that one person and it takes them three days. So you get a, a, a little bit of an understanding as to why things cost the amount that they do. I'm moving on to my serums, my face is clean. Um, this is, oh, I'm not even gonna attempt to say, Origiline Solution 10%. This is apparently for wrinkles and stuff like that. And I literally just slap it all over my face because I'm like, anyway we can prevent wrinkles, I'm going to do. And then I've got my trusty eye serum, the one which I swear by, the multi-peptide eye serum, and I just put that over there. And then I take my retinol. And again, this is the Gran Active Retinoid, 2% emulsion. And then I use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair on the top of my retinoid. I want some moisture, so I'm going to use my Fresh Black Tea Firming or Overnight Mask. And this just locks everything in really nicely. I love the fresh products. So, brush my nighttime routine. I'm gonna brush my teeth now and I'm going to go to bed. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. The kids are back at school. Yes. <laughs> Do you hear that? That's the sound of peace and quiet. <laughs> Okay, so I am taking my morning vitamins. I just started taking this Dose & Co Marine Collagen. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about the fact that I have to drink this in a minute. Because it takes me so long to drink a smoothie, believe it or not. Like, it takes me super, super, super long. I can't have it in a smoothie because it starts to smell of fish and it leaves the hint of fish in my mouth. And then I have my chewable hair vitamins from Hair Burst. Oh my gosh, I just realized I had a nightmare yesterday. A really horrible one too. It was about me getting old. <laughs> in my face someone said to me i look really old and they were like if you had higher cheekbones and you got some filler here it would bring up your face more and you wouldn't look so old because apparently this part of my mouth looks old i was livid in my dream i was literally thinking oh maybe i should go get cheek filler and i was so 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 panicky oh my gosh what's wrong with me there's nothing wrong with getting old age gracefully tiana gosh i think social media in that sense is so so unbelievably toxic because i never had an issue with that it subconsciously eats where you i don't care what anyone says i'm not anywhere near as bad as i used to be i used to be really really self-conscious about myself in terms of my body because I had the kids and I didn't like my body. I hated my body for a long time. And I worked in the gym for a long time before I got to the point where I actually accepted myself. But obviously my body has changed because of that hard work that I put in. But when it comes to my face, for example, the more that I'm exposed to on social media, the more I'm like, ooh, maybe I should do that. Ooh, maybe I should do this. 
and I was never ever like that. I never ever ever was like that. And it's really, really, really bad. Like the other day, I discovered that I can get trap Botox. When I saw that, I was like, huh? <laughs> you can get Botox in your traps to make them look more feminine. I'm just going about my day. A couple of days later, what am I thinking? Hmm, maybe I should go and get Botox on my traps because I'm quite lean. My traps are quite showy and you can see that I've got traps. And you know, that's not feminine. It's one of those things I just have to stay grounded mentally and just think to myself, right, forget what you see on social media. And that's why I tend to stay away, like even on YouTube and because I might not think anything in the moment, but in a few days time, it'll pop up into my head and I'll be like, hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe. The traps, the, the, the Botox and the traps thing, I can't believe it. I was like, this is crazy. This is just, you might not think anything of it in the moment. It's a couple of days later, the bright spark hits and you're like, maybe, just maybe I might do that. Sorry, I know, I just went off on a tangent. I just find it fascinating how, you know, sometimes the mind works. And I just, yeah, my, my therapy's been canceled today. Usually I have a session at 9.30. So I was doing weekly sessions. I've reduced the therapy sessions to two weeks now because I feel like I am in a better place mentally. I've had a few people ask me about my workout routine. I go five days a week, guys. I go to the gym five days a week. And those five days are broken up into two leg days and three hit sessions. Now the hit sessions, I make up as I go along. My leg days, I make up as I go along. <laughs> but um, one leg day will be focused on glutes and hamstrings. And then the second day, usually the second day, is focused on my quads. For the hit sessions, I work on my whole body. So it's usually a combination of like push-ups, burpees into push-ups, very high intensity kind of training for three times during the week. My diet is, I don't really have a diet. I love food, so I don't restrict myself. If I do, however, feel like I wanna get a little bit slimmer or I wanna lose a couple pounds of water weight because realistically, five pounds of whatever body weight you are is water weight and I kind of change up a couple of things in my diet and it tends to be how much carbs I eat in a day but other than that I never ever starve myself when I'm hungry I will eat and in fact that's one of my biggest advice to, to people like don't don't ever starve yourself if you starve your body from the food that it needs when it does get food eventually it holds on to it and then it'll kind of have the opposite effect because your body doesn't know when the next time it's going to get food it stores the food the more you eat the more your metabolism builds up but it doesn't build if you are not using the energy and the exercise and that is why it's so important to move around to get your exercise in i am like exercise is king i'd love to do a boot camp oh my gosh <laughs> put people through their paces okay i'm gonna go get ready I think I'm going to go to the gym this morning. I'll record the gym session for you guys today.